Hi viewers, welcome to blood test. Today is a topic important for those who are already running a laboratory and those who want to know the cost effective methods of running your diagnostic center while establishing your laboratory. Kindly see this video till the last so that you get all the tips I am going to mention here today to generate more revenue and profit for your diagnostic center. Let's go into the topic. To the most important biochemistry mission. If you're running a small size laboratory and only you have a semi automated biochemistry, that is fine. Whereas when you're going to have a fully automated biochemistry, it can run, you know, around 200 tests in a minimum per hour. That is approximately 30 to 40 samples. If you're going to have various biochemical tests, 30 to 40 samples at a shot you can load into the biochemistry machine and it can give an output of around 200 to 240 tests at minimum per hour. So these liquids, these again, the washing liquids and all are going to be efficiently used, very similar to the CBC machine. Apart from this, for the biochemistry, you have to see the reagents. Usually the reagents, when you open, it has an open vial stability. Okay? The expiry date is different. Okay. Every reagent you see, it has an open vial stability. So once you open the reagent for the biochemistry, usually for glucose and all, it is not a matter of fact. But when you're using uh, systems, when you're using reagents like uh, amylase, lipase, HbA1c for the most important example in which you can run in your biochemistry is a HbA1c reagent. When you're going to use such type of amylase lipose or HbA1c, you have to see how much is the open wild stability of the reagent. Some have just 28 days and within that 28 days, you have to use all the 100 tests or else, you know, it is going to be of waste. So know how much quantity you will be running in a month and according to that, select your reagent capacity you can select a lower amount of reagent maybe a lesser quantity in which you can run 50 tests in a month or if you have the capability of running 100 tests then go for a more sized pack uh, uh, reagent pack this reduce the amount of wastage in your laboratory as well as you can reduce the cost of wasting your reagent once because once the stability is lost for the reagent you cannot use the reagent for even for a single test second most important thing you have to see in a biochemistry machine is the light bulb that is the light source usually this halogen bulb comes for around 2000 hours and very similar to other machines you have to use it very effectively so that you don't replace this uh, bulb very frequently because this bulb is going to cost you minimum 9000 rupees and some machines can cost you even 20000 rupees so if you're going to run the samples in batch wise in you're going to club all the samples and run in batch wise the amount of uh, usage of the light bulb is going to be less when compared to the you know, when you're going to sam load samples just one by one, the usage of the lamp is going to be more higher, thereby going to increase your running cost. This is one thing in which you can reduce your cost. Some of the methods in which you can cost control or effectively cost control and increase your revenue or generate more profit from your existing diagnostic business or from the business you're going to start for as a diagnostic center. If you have any doubts or if you are interested in establishing your own diagnostic center and would want our help, you can write to us at pathlabstartup at gmail.com. You can also uh, WhatsApp us at the below mentioned number. If you like our videos, kindly subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon. See you tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye. Signing off, Dr. Lalita Center.